Now, more than ever, companies like yours are leveraging the experience and support of managed IT service providers. But with so many options to choose from, how do you know you're making the right decisions? What questions do I ask a service provider? How much do IT services cost? And at the end of the day, will my company achieve any real benefit from doing business with a service provider? During this short video, we're gonna give you an overview of everything you need to know before making a decision and moving forward with an IT services contract. Hi, I'm Scott Leonardo, and I'm a senior IT consultant at SOS. If while you're watching this video, you have any specific questions, feel free to jump directly to the topic sections listed below. Otherwise, let's jump right in and discuss what managed services are. Managed IT is more than just fixing computers and resetting passwords. In fact, that's only a very small portion of what should happen each and every day. Managed service providers or MSPs are companies that offer a wide range of support for your network and your equipment. Support can include 24 by seven help desk, data backup and disaster recovery, server virtualization for when your physical server goes offline, proactive network and equipment maintenance that includes software updates, vendor management, technology consulting, and a host of other related tasks. But the most important of all of these is cybersecurity. But how much does a service like this cost? Managed services can range from $100 to $150 per user. But to no surprise, that price may vary depending on your company's individual needs. Some companies will turn to break-fix solutions or MSPs who offer partial services. That works as long as you aren't hit with a nasty variant of malware. The result would be like getting sick without health insurance. It's much cheaper if you aren't sick, but if you're uninsured and you end up in the hospital, it can cost you thousands of dollars and cripple you financially. So how do you know if a managed services provider is the right step for your company? And is there a best time to leverage the help of an MSP? Well, a better question is, when is the right time to protect my company from outside threats? I think you know where I'm going with that. Yesterday, last week, last year is the answer. You don't have to be an expert to see that ransomware and other forms of malware are attacking companies left and right. We've heard about city governments, major retail chains, and financial institutions being targeted. But did you know that 4,000 businesses each day experience a cybersecurity breach? Did you also know that 60% of small businesses that are affected by a security breach never recover? The more alarming fact is that hackers prefer targeting smaller companies because their security is an easier target to penetrate. Most people understand the need to have some form of cybersecurity and data backup, but don't know to what extent. SOS offers a free network assessment to any company that is qualified by our team of experts. It's very alarming to discover how exposed many companies are to the threats of today's hyper-connected world. Managed services do more than free up your resident technology guru from mundane tasks like password recovery and computer reboots. They protect your company from hacking threats, network downtime that can cost you thousands of dollars per hour, and irreplaceable data loss. The reputation damage alone from a data breach can be catastrophic and have long lasting impacts. Luckily, there are full service MSPs that will assume all the risk at one flat monthly rate that's scalable to accommodate your company's growth. But how do you know if you're a good fit for managed services? Regardless of if you are a small company or a major enterprise, you can find support out there that meets your budget. The level of support and customization may change, but it is out there. For us at SOS, we generally look for companies within a range of eight to 200 network users. Once companies are beyond that number, in-house support may be the better option for them, and below eight users will typically be cost prohibitive for both the customer and the service provider. Make sure you understand everything within your service contract, but before you get there, what are some questions you should be asking a potential provider? 
We'll dive into that answer in a separate video, but for now, here are a few specific questions you should ask a potential provider before signing a contract. Do you have a limited number of help desk hours before I am charged a fee? And if so, what are those hours and fees? How will you provide us with transparency when it comes to reporting issues, fixes, and updates? What does your company do to stay current in the constant evolving digital landscape? If an engineer must visit my company to fix an issue, is there an additional fee for that? Do you understand our company's specific needs and are you flexible in adapting solutions that meet those needs? When you mean all-inclusive, what exactly does that mean? Can you provide references and testimonials? Do you have a local presence with a reasonable range for my company? We hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of managed services. And if you're interested to learn more detailed information about the topics covered today, feel free to subscribe to our channel or visit our website. Thanks again. And remember, no matter what your technology challenges are, SOS can help.